Today on Kayak USA, I'm going to be installing a USB dash panel along with some 12 volt outlets on this brand new Jackson big rig. Y'all stick around. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name's TJ. Welcome to Kayak USA. If you end up liking today's video, be sure you go check out my homepage. I got a ton of videos like this. And if you're new and you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So today we're working on the Bucks Island build. Now, if you don't know what that is, I've been working on this Jackson Big Rig HDFD for a local marina called Bucks Island. We're gonna build this thing up with every kind of mod you can think of and then we're going to send it back to them and they're going to put it on their showroom floor and sell it so this week i'm going to be installing some usb panels uh, we're going to put 12 volt outlet a little volt meter and we're going to put it all so it's kind of out of the way we're going to run the wires because next week's video we're going to be installing the graphs and the battery system so i kind of want to have all this wiring done this week so what I'm going to show you today is first we're going to go to the bench and I'm going to show you everything you need to do this install. And if you want to follow along with me, I'm going to make sure I link everything in the video description below. It'll be one link called kit.co forward slash kayak USA. You can click that link and I'll have everything in an Amazon basket and it will have everything that I use in today's video right there in that basket so you can go get it. So let's head over to the bench and I'll show you everything that you're going to need for this install. So I've got everything laid out here that we're going to be using for the install, along with some of the tools that I'm going to be using, and I'll link them in the card as well, like the step-up bits I use. They, they're great for drilling holes in kayaks and mounting stuff like this. So the first thing is going to be one of these panels, if I can get my camera to focus, there it is. So this one I have installed several times on many, many kayaks. I love this one. I've actually got a video I'll link right here. Uh, the video is really popular. It's been up for a couple of years though, and I figure the quality of my footage may be a lot better now. Uh, this one has the dual USB port. It's got the voltmeter in the middle, and then it's got a 12 volt port on the other side. It's really low profile, it's slim, and we can get it on this kayak and get it out of the way. I think that's gonna go good on this kayak so we can charge our GoPros, we can charge our cell phone and stuff like that right beside the seat. And it's waterproof once you plug those little caps that are on here, once you pop these caps on, it seals it up really good. You're not gonna get any water at all in these USB ports. We're also gonna be installing this on and off switch if my camera will focus right here. You can get these on Amazon. You can get them in different colors. I got green because the kayak's green and I figured it'll match really well. Uh, we're just gonna run this in line with the power wire so that we, if the battery's connected to this and we're not using the boat, you know, if it's pulled up on a beach or, or a bank somewhere, that it's not just gonna sit there and pull the juice, which is not very much on this little LED light, you know, this on this voltmeter, but we'll be able to turn it on and off so that we can control, you know, when the power's on and off to this panel. So we're gonna put that on. Uh, I'm also gonna be installing an inline fuse. Now you can get these in packs on Amazon. They're really cheap and I really suggest you just go ahead and buy a pack of like 10, I think it is, or 20 or something. They're cheap. They take these regular fuses, just like this. I don't know if my camera will focus on it. No, it's too small. So just a regular car fuse. We're gonna be doing that along with these SAE ports uh, or plug pigtails or whatever you wanna call them. Why is my camera not focusing the way it's supposed to focus? There we go. It's a SAE port. I'll link them below as well. What I've done is I went ahead and made the pigtail that we're gonna be using and I'll show it to you in just a minute. But I use 14 gauge wire when I do these installs and I've got red and black. We're gonna be using red and black. I've got a couple of terminal kits off of Amazon. If it'll focus, I got this one as a 150 piece kit. You don't need it, but uh, you don't need everything in this for, a, for the install, but it's good to have them. There's a lot of good connectors in there. And I also go with this 42 piece heat shrink because these are pre-cut heat, shr heat shrink strips and it's good to waterproof every connection that you do with these wires. Uh, let's see, what else? I'm gonna be using this DAP, D-A-P, come on focus camera. This is ultra clear. Now you can use 100% silicone, I usually do, if I don't have this. Now this stuff works really good. It's super clear. It's gonna be what we put behind this panel whenever we screw it onto the boat and it's gonna seal it up really good. This stuff stays clear. It lasts just about forever, I think. It won't flake off like some silicones will 
and it uh, is flexible. So it'll flex with the heat, you know, the waves or whatever. If the boat flexes, this stuff will flex and won't pop off the seal. That's really good to have. Um, step up bit. If you don't know what a step up bit is, let's see, is one of these bad boys right here. These step up bits are the best things to use whenever you're drilling holes in a kayak because you can go to the exact size hole you need. It makes a perfect smooth hole. There's no jagged edges and you can just get it to that exact size to pop these big holes or you know these big ports into the holes on your kayak and make sure that you don't leave any air gaps you know you don't want to over drill your hole and have a loose and then you got to fill it up with silicone so get you some of these step up bits they'll be linked below as well and i really like i used to use wire like a stiff heavy gauge house wire to pull my wire through my bass boats when i'd wire them or my kayaks but i've picked up this recently and it works really good it's an electrical pull tape and it's, it's stiff, it's uh, just like a stiff piece of metal. And you can run this through the kayak, hook it to your wires, and then you just reel it in and it'll pull your wire back through to the holes. And it's, it's stiff so you can get around, you know, you like your scupper holes and stuff that are inside the boat. This is a lifesaver. This works really good. Because sometimes you're in a kayak and, you know, your access hole is going to be at the other end of the kayak where you want to put the port and it's really hard to get those wires all the way from one end to, to the other through the hole. So these are really good, linked as well in the video description. And that's about it. Besides some wire pliers and our connectors and stuff, that's all we need. So what I went ahead and done, and I, I, I had this here, I've already built it. And the way we're gonna hook up the battery in today's video is we're gonna use one of these inline fuses, the black and red wire, and we're gonna make our battery connections, which you see I've already done here. I've got, come on camera, there we go. I've got my black and my red, uh, positive and negative. I've already got it running to our USB, not our USB, our fuse panel. And I've got it hooked up to the SAE port. And the way, the reason I like to use these is because you can take them out of the boat with the battery and you don't have a pile of wire back there. So if you want to go somewhere and you don't want to take your battery with you, or if you're loading this on top of your truck, you know, loading your kayak, you can make it as light as possible by removing stuff like this. So if you're pulling the battery out, you can take this out with it and leave it connected to your battery. That's a big plus. So when we put our battery in next week, these will hook up to the battery and I'll have this other SAE port running directly to my switch and our panels. So we'll be able to just unplug. Let's see if I can do it right here if it'll stay focused. So it plugs up just like this if you've never used it. And just make sure when you get them, when you plug this up, your red wire runs straight across to your red wire and your white wire runs across to your white wire or red and black. They've also got them in red and black. I might have one over here. Yeah. They've also got them like this. This one's got the red and black. If a we'll focus, just make sure when you plug them across from each other, you've got the same color wire going to the same color wire. Because sometimes you can get two of the same ends and when you plug them up, you'll notice that the black's going to the red and the red's going to the black. That's not good, you don't wanna do that. That's how you burn down your kayak or, or really mess you know, your graph or something like that up. So always be aware of that, but I've already got this one made, so we're gonna use this, just throw it in the boat. And that way, all I've gotta do is run my red and black wire to this pigtail here. Of course, I'm gonna put the black wire to the white wire and that'll be our negative and our red will be our hot. So it should be an easy install today. So now let's go over to the kayak and let's drill some big holes in this brand new Jackson. We're gonna figure out where we wanna put our switch and it's probably gonna be really close to this so we can just reach over and cut it on and off with our hand, but we also want it out of the way. We don't want it taking up any space for us to be able to fish and move around on the kayak. So let's go over to the kayak. All right, so after I look back and forth through this kayak, I'm trying to figure out the best place to put our USB ports and our 12 volt outlet, I've decided I'm gonna put it right back here behind the seat. Now, when you're trying to figure out where you wanna put it, just keep in mind future installs. And you know, I've got a lot more stuff that I'm gonna be installing on this boat. So I don't want to put this in the way of anything else we're gonna be adding in the future. And you also don't wanna put it in the way of like, this seat slides forward and back. So what I did was I slid the seat as far back as it would go. And I made sure that there's still gonna be room back here. So you wouldn't wanna have this seat slid forward 
and put it here and then you can't slide the seat back once you get these holes drilled. So I slid the seat all the way, all the way back and I found out that I could put it right behind the seat in this wall. It'll be flush mounted out of the way and just close enough where you can charge your phone or GoPro or whatever you got to hook to this thing. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get the camera put right up on this on the install and let you guys see everything that I do to get these holes drilled and run these wires. So let's get this thing installed.
right, guys, that's gonna do it for this week's video. I hope I was able to help some of you guys out with this video. If you have any questions at all, hit me up in the comment section below and I'll definitely help you out. If you're new to the channel and you hadn't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like today's video, hit the thumbs up button. It goes a long way to help support my channel. And if you wanna support my channel even further and become a member of the channel, you can hit that join button and become a member of the Yak Squad and get members only videos and live streams and stuff like that every month. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you guys next week, Thursday at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Peace.